Hi there guys, it's Justin here again. In this video, what I'll be doing is comparing OBS versus GeForce Experience in terms of recording gameplay. And what you're gonna see is with GeForce Experience, you actually lose less FPS. So that is a bonus. But on the flip side, when you just play, when you're just doing straight gameplay, you're actually going to be losing more FPS just in straight gameplay if you've got GeForce Experience installed in the background. And I'll show you why. I think it's pretty obvious. But when you install GeForce Experience, you got all these extra services and containers running in the background. You can see the memory usage is quite a lot higher. Whereas if you just go about installing a driver and you just install the driver and physics, you don't do H2 audio and you don't do GeForce experience, you actually get quite a bit higher FPS. But I'll show you those results after the comparison or the gameplay comparison. So enjoy. So now that you've seen that you lose less FPS when you record with GeForce Experience as opposed to OBS, now I'm going to show you when you're just doing straight up gameplay, no recording, how much FPS you actually lose. So look, it's been a long day, I only benchmark 5 games, but this is uh, the latest driver installed with GeForce Experience. And this is the latest driver. We just do a clean, fresh install of only the driver and physics. So, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the same results uh, with GeForce Experience and without. Spider-Man Remastered, there's a, quite a big difference. With GeForce Experience installed, my benchmark on medium settings yielded 80 FPS. 
Whereas with RT Force Experience installed, I'm getting 89 FPS on medium settings. Day is gone. With GeForce Experience 65 FPS, with our GeForce Experience 67 FPS. God of War 65 FPS with GeForce Experience, with our GeForce Experience 67 FPS. And then finally, for Control, uh, whether they have GeForce Experience or not, it's the same result. And what you find over the five games that are benchmarked, if you don't have GeForce Experience installed, you actually average two FPS higher per game. So it's a, it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a toss up. So if you want to record gameplay, go ahead and use GeForce Experience. But if you want to achieve the highest frames that you can when you're just playing normal gameplay, I recommend just installing a straight driver, no GeForce Experience. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be uh, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, please be so kind as to hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And always know that there's people like you that make a difference. Cheers.